And we were able, and we found that they worked really well with things like bauxite liquor. So when we did bauxite liquor with a conventional GCL uh, manufactured in North America, conductivity's up here. Our products with the bentonite polymer composite are down there. Powder bentonite's a little lower, but these were, and if we added more polymer to it, we could actually even drive the conductivity down even lower. And we, we've done work with coal combustion product leachates recently. And again, here's our data for conventional bentonites. Uh, the higher the concentration of the CCP leachate, the more permeable it is. Our uh, bentonite polymer materials essentially independent of concentration up to a point. They get to a point where they break. So here, all the way up to almost to one molar, and then it breaks. All right. But they can work over a really broad range and essentially the same conductivity over the entire range. Uh, and it depends a lot on just how much polymer we put in into the solution. Uh, this, is, this is for low-level rad waste leachate hydraulic conductivity, the, uh, the GCL versus polymer loading. Low polymer loading or conventional bentonite, very permeable. Up around 4.5% or higher, we get very impermeable uh, uh, GCLs. It's all about having enough polymer in the pore space to keep it... Uh, keep plugging the pores. Uh, 